Hi everyone, so today we're going to be showing you guys what our final schedules look like. I'm in third year and Katrina's in first year, so you can kind of get a gist of what finals are like here at UBC Engineering. So like Hannah said, I am in first year engineering at UBC and I am also in the pre-biomedical engineering stream, so you will get a sense of what my courses are like in comparison to the normal first year courses. And as I said, I'm in third year. I'm also in biomedical engineering, but I am taking a reduced course load. So this term, I'm only taking four courses. So you can kind of see what um, my final schedule looks like taking less courses compared to Katrina's, which is like the full, I think you have six finals. Yeah, yeah six finals. Um, and you can kind of see like, if that might be more doable for you if you were initially maybe scared of going into engineering for that reason. And that's kind of why I wanted to show this because you definitely can reduce it. So the finals um, is it six finals if you don't think personally you're able to do that. So we will show you the times of each of our exams, how long each exam is with specific topics for each course and how we are planning to allot our times to study for our various finals. Okay, so as I said, I'm taking a reduced course load. So half of my courses this year are going to be second year courses and then half of them are third year courses. And this term, term one, I am taking only four courses, which has been really beneficial for me so that I can do my two jobs and my design team outside of school. So my first final is going to be on December 12th at 3.30 p.m. And that's gonna be a three hour exam. And that is CPAN 223, which is a second year course. And it's software engineering in the language C sharp. And that's gonna be a written exam. So typically your coding slash like computer engineering exams are going to be written. So you're not typically going to be um, typing them, except they did make some exceptions during COVID. So I believe Katrina is, is going to be typed, but most of the time they will be written, especially if you'll be entering next year. So yeah, you kind of just have to practice like coding by hand, which is a little weird at first, but you definitely get used to it. And then my second exam is gonna be the day after at 8.30 a.m. And that's my elective that I'm taking. So you can kind of fit in your elective any time during your degree. And I just decided to do it now. And I'm taking CLST 260, which is like gladiators and Roman games. I really like it. It's actually quite interesting. And that's also gonna be three hours, essays, multiple choice, that kind of thing. And then the next exam, which is my last final is the day after, so I'm gonna be having three finals within 48 hours and that's at 3.30 p.m. And that's gonna be in like a big gymnasium. Typically, especially in first year, all of your exams will be in big gymnasiums and you'll have proper desks, which is really nice. You don't have to write on like the tiny little fold out desks. Um, but yeah, this one's gonna be organic chemistry. So that's Chem 233. And although it's a second year like course code, this is actually a course that we take in third year in biomedical engineering. So alongside this, I have a few big projects that are kind of due like on the 8th, 9th, so about like two days before I start my finals. And I also just wanted to mention my finals start on first day. So typically you will get off like December 7th, December 8th, and then finals will start like December 11th, 12th, obviously depends on the year, but you get around three to four days before finals start. And you might even have finals that don't start till a lot later. And they usually run until around December 20th to 23rd. It kind of depends on the year. And then my very last final is actually going to be an optional take home final. That's why it's not like listed in the schedule over here. But that I believe is going to be over two or three days and it is take home. So that'll be a little less black and white than kind of the in-person timed exams if you do have a take home. So for my finals, I have six finals. And so my first final is chemistry 121, which is actually the science chemistry you take. And because I am in the pre-biomedical engineering stream, this one is replaced from the engineering chemistry, which is called chemistry 154. My second final is also three hours and it is for physics 170, which is about mechanics and statics in systems. My third final is called APSI 160 and it is actually a take home final, which means that I get to do this on the day at the same time, but I don't have to go to a lecture hall or gym to write my final. And APSI 160 is the engineering coding class for first year. 
So we do C programming and Arduino for this class. And so for our final, we will usually have about four coding questions and a lot of multiple choice to see if we understand the concepts and how to apply them. My fourth final is called Math 100. This is also a three hour exam and it is worth about 50% of my mark. It covers almost everything that is also covered in AP Calculus. So I was lucky enough to take AP Calculus in high school and this course has been a little bit of a review for me. So it doesn't involve me studying as much for it, just kind of going through some practice problems and past finals. My fifth final is called AppSci 100 and this is the engineering design course for first year engineers. We go over everything from ethics to how to design a prototype, to even how to clarify and solve problems that you are given in the workplace. This exam is all multiple choice and it does take the, almost the whole two and a half hour to three hour time period you are given. It does cover a lot and it will probably require a lot of key cards for me to study with. My final final is called Physics 157, which is a physics course that covers thermodynamics and waves in first year. When you are in engineering, you take a total of three physics courses, and this is the one that is always taken in first term. This final is also a two hour to three hour time period, and it is my last one, so I'm excited because it is in the morning, so I get to go home right afterwards. So that's all for today's video. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And also don't forget to finish your applications to UBC Engineering. Early applications have closed now, but if you still want to submit for normal admission, you have until January 15th. Good luck with the rest of your term and we hope to see you at UBC in the future. Bye. Bye.